Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hello. And I'm going to build upon the previous lesson of a UV map and actually show how to bring that into Photoshop as a 3D object. For that, you'll need Photoshop the extended version. That's the more expensive version if you're unfamiliar with that. <laughs> so I saved, I, I have right where I left off from the previous one, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this file. So what I'll do, I'll do a save, and I'm going to stick that right on my desktop. I'm just going to call this junk. <laughs> <laughs> That's my default name. And then uh, I save the file, and I'm going to save the image. It's important to do that because it's easy to forget. Now, if you had brought the image in from you know, image that was already existing, then obviously you don't need to save that. So I'll click Save. And I'm going to go to the desktop, and I will call this uh, junk. <laughs> now this is going to be junk TGA because it's going to be a target image. Click save. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and tab out of this. So we're in edit mode, and I'm going to go file, export, and I'm going to save this as a wave front, so a dot obj. And it's junk OBAJ, so that's a good name. <laughs> or at least it's one that fits along. Just for now, I'm going to accept all the default settings. Okay. And then I'm going to come over to Photoshop. And I'm going to say open. And let's just say junk.obj. And I'm just going to accept this default for now 1024 by 1024. And you'll see it's reading in alias wavefront. So now I need to make my Photoshop window a little bit smaller. You see we got our object here and let me drag my palette over. Uh, except that I'm not clicking the right one. Uh, you'll see brought in our 3D object. Here's the cool thing. Double click on it. This is my favorite part. <laughs> and we can move this object around in Photoshop. And there's a bunch of other options you can play with, but that's not part of this lesson right now. So once we click this, we can apply this, save. Oops, I don't really want to save that. We'll just close that and save that part. Oh, all right, junk PSD. All right. Close it out, and there you go. It's a good way to, uh, you know what? Actually, I want to show you one more thing. So it's a good thing I saved it. Uh, you can also open up your texture. So if you wanted to, let's do something goofy here. We'll just change the uh, color of that. Save that, close it, and voila. Ooh. That's pretty neat. And one more thing, if you wanted to for your 3D object, I'm really only going on because I got Richard to say woo. You can <laughs> say replace texture, which what that, that'll do is the texture that I just modified, it'll save that out and overwrite the one that's on disk. Because right now this is an embedded check texture, it's not the one that's on disk anymore. Pretty cool.